Hey everyone! In this lesson, I'm going to explain what bundles are and how Integramat calculates the number of operations consumed. As you may already know, an Integramat scenario begins with a trigger module that watches for fresh data on a predefined schedule. If the module returns an output, it is in the form of one or more bundles of data depending on your module settings. Each bundle of data is sent to the next module for further processing. Let me show you a simple scenario to demonstrate this. Here I have a Google Sheets Watch a Row module that watches for new rows in a worksheet. As you can see here, there is a field to define the maximum number of results. This is the number of bundles Integromat will generate during one scenario run. Let me show you. So as you see here, under output, only one bundle of data was returned and one operation was consumed. The number in this bubble always tells you the number of operations consumed by each module. Now I'm going to change this number to 10 and run the scenario once again. I will also need to choose where to start the processing, so I'm simply going to select all to process all rows. Now here, you can see that the module has returned 10 bundles of data. However, only one operation has been consumed even in this case. Now let me add a compose a string module with a sample string which can be found under tools here. I'll just map the headline element in the text field here. Each bundle will be processed one by one in this module, resulting in the number of operations to be equal to the number of bundles processed. So let's run it once. You can see that it has consumed 10 operations, and each operation contains an input and an output bundle. Now, I'm going to add a filter on this route. I will call it contains data, and add a condition wherein the tags element contains the term data. Now, let's run the scenario again. As you see here, only three bundles passed through the filter and made it to the next module. And therefore, the Compose a String module consumed three operations corresponding to the three bundles. Please note that filters don't consume any operations, and so the scenario run consumed a total of four operations. As a side note, I'd like to add that just like filters, error handler directives also don't consume any operations. However, other modules on an error handler route do consume operations. Now let's say you want to take the output of each of the three bundles from the Compose a String module and combine them into a single string. To do so, you need to add a text aggregator, which you can also find under Tools. Select the Google Sheets module as the source node and map the text element from the Compose a String module. I will also remove this filter. And now let's run the scenario again. As you see, the Compose a String module generated 10 bundles and therefore consumed 10 operations, but the Text Aggregator module consumed only one operation since it took the text from all the 10 bundles and aggregated them into a single text, thus returning a single bundle. But the text here looks messy and does not contain any separators, so here's what you can do. If you go to the advanced settings under the text aggregator module, you can choose a row separator or define one such as a comma, which simply separates the text output from each bundle. Let's select new row and run the scenario again. And as I did before, I need to select where to start from and so choose all. If you see the output of the text aggregator module, the text output of each input bundle is separated by a row. Similarly, you can define whatever separator you prefer. This concludes the basics of bundles and operations. In the next video, I will explain the grouping option in the text aggregator and the set variable module. See you in the next lesson.